I think it's a big travesty that I haven't played a single Resident Evil game for the channel, despite considering myself a big fan of the series. Like, I love Silent Hill, but it's kind of crazy that I've played so many titles through this throughout for the channel, and yet not one singular game of Resident Evil has been played. So I'm going to rectify that by playing Resident Evil today for the channel. Um, I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, we're just going to go ahead and do that. And I like going on a hike. Good exercise, but not too stren strenuous. Strenuous? I don't know how to say that. I don't care anymore. It's not my, and it's not important. I'm going to play Jill's campaign. Um, I don't hate Chris, but Chris is harder than Jill. And I kind of want to not, like, have a bad time. So I'm just going to go ahead and play Jill. Plus, you know. Can I pl really play somebody, somebody who has a fucking penny in their light or their uh, badge? Like, get your life together. But already, Jill Valentine, let's go. I'm also gonna, not going to talk during this, so uh, I'll see you after this. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo Team was sent in to investigate. But we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Oh, man, what I is love this that. place? I've watched it like a million times. Not quite your ordinary house, that's, that's for sure. sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? 
and... Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I don't want. I don't know if I should talk over the everyone else, but uh, yeah, that's what I thought. If you go back and watch uh, them breach the dining hall, you'll notice the clock looks a little different here. I think they fucked up, and that door is open when it's supposed to, when it's not supposed to be open. Very interesting. But anyway, this is Resident Evil 1, uh, the Resident Evil 1 remake for uh, everything, pretty much. It was released on everything in 2014, I think, something like that. Um, originally released in 2002, I think, on the GameCube. Um, I'm glad that I'm able to play it. I'm so happy that I'm able to play it. I'm so happy that I'm finally playing it for the channel. We played it for Resident Evil. I think Evil you'd better week, take a look at this. Decided, hey, why not what go through it, it again? I love this game. Blood. You don't have blood on your finger. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Why? Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Want to see what shape it is? See if you can, I don't know, make blood men, like snowmen, but in blood. Why don't you look at me like that? What's your problem? This game is so great, but it's also like... It's also not new, so there are going to be some issues. Like, I noticed his lips weren't moving when uh, I had the faraway camera. Um, I think there's, like, extra dialogue. Yes. I want to get all the extra dialogue. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Sure thing, Wesker. Yeah, that's right, that was gunfire. Where's the gun? Got cold feet already? Yes. That's not like you. It is. I'm scared. I'm spooked. And then she'll say, better check this place out first. Sucks. But, uh, I don't know what to say. Oh? Who oh, is that's it? that's right! Because I didn't come in to go in there, that's, this is gonna happen. You! Freeze! Get away from him, Jill! He's insane! What the hell? We better report this to Wesker. Oh, I won't be talking about Kenneth, I suppose. Poor Kenneth. You'll never get your recognition in this playthrough. <sighs> Of course, he's just able to want his ass out of there. That's a magnum, by the way. Those things pack a punch. And he's just like, nah, it's fine. I'm good. Wesker! Wesker! Oh. Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Okay. So the trick to get this to go fast was going around the back, um... The back, like beneath the stairs in the original, but you gotta just gotta go upstairs, go downstairs. Barry. And this Anyone, one, Jill. No. Let's say nothing. it was my trick. That's what I use. What's going on I don't know what the fastest here. way I can't was. can't figure it out. Same here. Chris and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Because she's the master of unlocking... whatever. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. 
Okay. Got it. Okay. Got it. This is considered to be like the definitive dish, uh, the definitive version of Resident Evil One, but I kind of prefer the original. Um, I'm probably a purist like that. I know, shocking. Um, I like the campy dialogue. I love the atmosphere. Um, I actually do like the music in the uh, director's edition. I think it was the director's edition. Crazy fucked, fucked up music. Um, oh, okay. Let's see. Let's get that video tape. Corpse to Conrad Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. Uh-huh. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't take a spot. I'd be really pissed if it took, a, uh, took up an inventory spot. But this game is actually really, really good. And I'm so, so, so glad that uh, it got ported to other systems because I was never going to own a GameCube. I did own a Wii at one point, but I didn't know how to mod it, so I was never going to be able to do anything with that, so, you know. And I think it was also released for the Wii, like uh, the Resident Evil Archive, uh, sort of edition. Oh my god, okay. Alright, I remember this. I remember this. Hold on a second. Because I did play this recently for Resident Evil Week, when, um, right before Resident Evil Village released. Damn. Did you? Okay. Mmm. Damn. So I, I do remember some of the puzzles. Like, there's the arrow. I have to take it out to the, to the grave, I think. But I'm gonna also not try... I'm gonna try not to spoil anything for anyone who has never seen this game before. I'm also going to try and... Can I go... I unlocked it. Where does this go? Oh, that okay i know where that goes lock from the other side um i'm also gonna try not to show any saves like i'm gonna cut it when i save and shit like that but yeah this is gonna be pure ooh, dagger it's gonna be pure dagger i'm also able to like complain about shit and also praise this game for shit like for example uh the ambiance i really love it No, you don't. Sorry. I need to be careful with how I kill them. Like, I, I can kill them, but I just need to be careful. If I'm not careful, then, I'll, then things will happen. You know, I don't really want things to happen. Got, you got also always have to reposition yourself so that you have the best angle. Oh my god, please, just damn it, Jill. I'm kind of one of those people, the weird people. Really, I really enjoy the tank controls, but God, do they suck sometimes. Like Ben right there, trying to maneuver around an object to push it, it's just, it's, it's more painful than it's worth. Okay. I know I have to go outside, and I remember there being ammo of some kind here. God, it feels like just yesterday that I was playing through the Resident Evil week. It was more like a month in anticipation for Resident Evil uh, Village. God, that was a letdown. I know, you know, there were a lot of people I think who enjoyed it too, and I enjoyed certain parts of it. But I kind of feel as if they could have done so much better with certain things, and I gotta use it here. But they didn't. But we're not talking about Village here. We're talking about Resident Evil 1. I was wondering whether or not I should play it in order. So, like, in order of, like, the story, which would be Resident Evil uh, 0 first. But then I realized I don't want to deal with the hook shot. Okay. And then there's something over here. I don't want to deal with the book shot, hook shot, so I'll play 1 first. Plus, they happen at the same time, so I don't really care at the end of the day. Okay. I gotta open it, don't I? Titled Book of Curses. Oh, there's the key. Yes, I will remove it. Okay, I better not get cursed, I swear to God. Book of Curses. The Four Masks. 
A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Okay. Well, I don't need evil to awaken. I'm already here. I'm right here. I'm ready to go. boy. I heard that they were going to remake this game in the style of Resident Evil. The, two, the recent remakes for 2 and 3. I'm really hoping that's not true. Because while I do enjoy those remakes, I do think they do falter. Um, in... They falter. Let's just put it at that, you know? Okay, I want to come back here, and I'm going to move this, but I'm also going to move it back, and I I'll explain why after I do it, but it's for my own protection, really. Awesome. But I'm also not one of those people, those persons who believes, like, this is just, like, the best Resident Evil game and the remakes are just like absolute garbage and they should never be played or anything like that. I think they have their place. I just think they were just really mishandled um, with what they did, with what Capcom did. And I don't think that was by design. I think it was by accident. You know, when you're working on a series for what, 25, 30 years, almost 30 years, and you have so many cooks in the kitchen, it's difficult to have a coherent and consistent um, Viewpoint, if that makes sense. Don't fall down, Jill. Ah. Alrighty. Oh, no, you don't. Well, bam! Awesome. Okay. Like... I'm not going to say, I don't know if any of the, you know, original Resident Evil 2 and 3 um, creators, developers, uh, story writers, those individuals, if they worked on Resident Evil 3 and 2. But what I do know is it was 25 years since the first game. About 25 years. And, uh-huh, you almost got me. But then I rem remembered... When you have that much time and you, it becomes difficult to sort of keep that sort of same style. Though I do think they do a good job at making a scary game. Because, yeah, I think Resident Evil 2 was terrifying. Especially Mr. X. Yeah. Fucking just the worst thing I'd ever, in, or ever felt. When I first played it, um, that's why I got into PC gaming. Uh, picked up... Um, Oh. Yeah, I will use the. I will go out here because I think the chemicals out here. Uh, when I first got my uh, PC, I got that free, so I was able to just enjoy it. I got one slot left, so let's not waste it. Uh, yeah, let's grab it. Why not? So I just <sighs> little kid in the eighteen. Well. 20, 20 years old, four years ago, however many years ago, an, ex an, an amount of years ago, sitting on the floor of my apartment, trying to play Resident Evil on a, com a computer with a keyboard and a mouse and a table that just was not designed for anything like that. It was just pretty great. Not today. Not exactly too sure, like what? I don't think I want to go this way. Can I open this door? Armor. Okay, I need armor key. I'm not exactly too sure what, like, what I'm gonna talk about while I'm playing the game. So I'll just probably ramble on. Um, I'm sorry if it gets, you know, if it, if it gets to be annoying. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. 
Sorry, I'll try not to be annoying, okay? Oh, oh I just, I'm just happy. And I just, I ramble, I know I ramble. I want to go back in there, and I want to drop off some shit, because I need to grab some things. Alrighty. What I'm trying to say about the Resident Evil 2 remake is I think it was, it is an amazing game in its own right. I saw I know. Okay, drop off this. But, it could have been so much better if we focused a little bit more on... Keeping the general, you know, things about the original. Like making the story connected between the two and not having it separated in, in, in its own alternative universe sort of world where nothing really matters. Okay, let's get some uh, kerosene. No, I don't care about the kerosene anymore. This is, must be like a big a canteen if, uh, if you could take away that much kerosene with basically nothing. This game, I think, did a great job at remaking Resident Evil 1, mostly just because it took what was already there and it built on top of it. It's like, it's like the equivalent of having an ice cream cake, or having a cake, right? Just whatever kind of cake, and making it into an ice cream cake. Like, yes, yes, please. Unless you're lactose intolerant, which I'm sorry, but, like, ice cream cake is so much better than cake. Um, cake is good, but ice cream cake is just that much bit better. I will take that. Crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I have this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected, uh, have it protected by a dangerous animal like those vicious canine that, live, that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you was always you always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I might just be able to get it for you. This could work out for both of us. John Tolman. Oh, John. Fuck you. Making my life a little bit harder. How could you? And then... No, no. I don't care about that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna go get the map now. It's all coming back to me, I think. A little bit. Oh wait, no, no. Yes, let's do this now. Because I don't know how much time I have. And I really don't want to risk it. Capcom could be nice to me, but they also could be mean to me. Uh, I would say the remakes are kind of like having cake and then also adding cupcake. And, you know, it's still good. Like, no one's going to complain that you gave them cupcakes instead of cake, right? Or that you gave them cupcakes with cake. But it's, it's not as good. And, you know, some people, they like ice cream cake better and some people, they...